This is your ham gamble, and we're back playing Sly Cooper. Last time we were, we finally made it to Mugshot, and now we're just making him angry by doing these mirrors. Ooh. Yeah, this boss is a bit annoying, but nothing too hard. It's just, I don't really get it, but whatever. Yeah, the dive can be pretty helpful here, if I remember. I don't think he'll attack the fake you. You know, we might, you know what, I should try real quick. I should see if he'll attack the decoy. I really doubt he will, but I'll give it a try. Okay, we gotta move fast enough for the decoy to be set up. Um, screw that, we're not doing that. Well, actually, I might as well try real quick. Come on, come on. Nope, he is not stupid enough to fall for the decoy. Oh well, I gave it a try. Uh, oh darn I! <sighs> Gosh, this guy's annoying. Okay, no more monkey business. Don't get near him though, because he's pretty annoying. He's got pretty good long range. Just jump over his um, gun blast. Oh, I thought he hit me there for a second. Two double jumps will be long enough to avoid his hit. How? Yeah, good for you. Whatever, you nut, you nut job. This one's a bit harder because you don't want to get trapped in the corners. You probably want to do that, the last, the one in the corners last. So, because it's pretty easy to... if he can actually hurt you if you get too close. I've never really gotten close to him, but his guns are pretty dangerous. Okay, there's only like one more left or so. Ooh. You can use the crystals though to block his um, hits. I believe the last one, I believe you have to hit him four t three times. I think this is the last one. Yeah, it's pretty easy. This is by far easy. Because, look, he can't even really hit you, except when you're, um, not behind the mirror. See, but when you're behind a mirror, see, you can just... Oh! Okay, unless you do that. Oh! Oh, darn, I gotta start a wolf! Darn it! I hate when I do that. This boss isn't even that hard, I'm just... ...being an idiot. Uh, leave me alone. I really don't understand why he has these crystals here if they hurt him. I mean, that makes really absolutely no sense. Good. Yeah, well, I'll destroy that spear gun you got, too, because I ain't joking. Good, they gave me a medal this let me know. Uh whatever it's called. A charm this time. That was nice of them. Yeah, sometimes if you're sucking too much, they'll just be like, look, here you go, bad player. Just take this charm because you obviously can't beat it without having help. <laughs> okay, well probably not, but you know, that, that's how I feel, because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm just doing so bad today. But oh well. It's cause, you know. I'll get it this time, though. Look at that range he's got. What kind of bullets are those? Can those bullets take out vampires? Yeah, I'm guessing you don't want to touch him either. I mean, look at him, he's probably all greasy. Eh, get away from me! Oh god, I'm nice. 
Man, he's just so heavy, he makes the whole earth shake. Okay, now don't be an idiot like me, people, and don't accidentally uh, fall off the rope. Oh darn it! Oh, okay, I did it again. That's right. He can use he can flip back the mirror, so you gotta keep moving. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, here we go again. I'm just gonna be quiet, I think, for a minute. Okay, one down. Man, it's so funny. I remember the first time I battled this boss, and I didn't have a hard time. But the first time I battled the first boss of the game, I had it a tremendously hard time. So I guess it kind of just switched. Oh well. Aha, you missed. Why do you have mirrors here? This should be the last one. Nice. I don't want him to turn the mirror back once I shoot it. Because, you know, he'll turn it back. It flips around if he shoots it, and you faced it towards him. There we go. Here we go. Whoa! Okay, got this. Sorry, people, for failing so much this time. Can't believe it. This is impossible! Yeah, I don't understand how I killed you, but whatever. Beating a big, strong bruiser like me? It ain't right! You want all of that stupid picture book? Neither are those pants. They're ugly. Go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Ruby. And then believe you me, you don't want to be you. Yeah, Much whatever. that section of the Phoebeus Raccoonus contain an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. Cool gun. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the old west. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Uh oh, there's Carmelita. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing. What's he gonna say on the title this time? Hot stuff with a badge. <laughs> that was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America. <laughs> still the Hollywood star and returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. I still don't understand how they can't find Sly Cooper. He's got a big Sly symbol on his truck. What up? Okay, well, let's go look at the Haiti um, thing about. Let's go learn about Miss Ruby. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous Voodoo Priestess. Ms. Uh. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Don't blame you. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into Is that obscurity. Is in your belly button? The last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Sounds fun. Slike Brin. Vicious. Yeah, sounds fun. All right, the dreaded swamp path. 
Um, but you know what? I think I'm gonna end the video here because I am coming up to the time limit and I would like to do this next week. So this has been one gamble. Thanks for watching. See you next time as we will go ahead and encounter the third member of the Phoenix Five. Okay. Bye then.